done. So now we're coming to the outside. So on the outside, the last tenants had a great big Great Dane and it just wrecked the doors. Um, so what they've done is actually door scratches. I don't know if you can see that. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take, we're gonna sand that all down. And when we don't we do that, we'll sand the base down as well. And just put a new coat, the varnish on it. Uh, we got some broken stairs here that looks a little bit uh, beat up and used. So we're gonna get some of the decking timbers. We're just gonna take and replace over the top of that. Same thing, this planter box here, we're just gonna fix that up. And then that coming out to the pool. Out here at the pool, we got a bit of edging on the where the step is there. We'll get that tidied up. Bit of grout in between all the tiles. The pool's starting to look pretty good, so that's pretty refreshing. Uh, we got the uh, the uh, door over to where the pool filter box is um, that needs to be tidied up as well. So that's going to pretty much take me, uh, you know, a few hours in the day here. Um, but uh, we'll get taken care of all that. Now, what, one thing that we are doing, we're going to put some mulch all the way down in the back back here. Um, this is one thing I'm actually going to farm out to a tradesman because basically I'm old and I don't want to be barreling anything up there. But that's going to make a huge difference uh, when a bar comes through because you have that nice uh, smell of the fresh mulch it's all down there, which would be really nice. It'll tidy up that garden. Uh, everything will be great. I'm going to put a few fresh stones up inside here just so when they come here, it looks like it's all fresh and ready for them to actually come in and do what they want to do. So I'll get better get to it. Okay, guys, a couple of tips. First off, we're working by water, right by, by the pool, and we have power tools here, okay? What we don't want to do, we don't want to make sure we bring the, the uh, power tools anywhere near where the water is, okay? So really important that you take your power lead and actually run it back inside the house away from all the water. Also, a really big tip to all you bloody handymen out there. If you don't have them, get yourself a pair of clamps, okay? The quick grip adjustable ones because these are gonna this is a second pair of hands okay it makes all the difference in the world you're not going to be you know struggling trying to keep your timber in place where you're cutting um, and they just do the most wonderful things that extra pair of hands don't need somebody else you can do it all on your own and again if you're not comfortable with power tools or with uh, working with timber get somebody else to do it it's a lot easier it costs you some money but uh, i'm just a glutton for punishment so i'm gonna keep going well it's been a pretty big day we got uh the step there all sorted out with the pool and we got the steps I'm actually on right now got those all fixed up cut in some new stairs fix this planter box up put made that into a, like a little sitting area as well um, didn't quite get as far as we thought we were going to um, but we also tied up a bit of trim on the windows now these things are, are really important this was just a big open area that was left sort of unfinished um, during the time um, wasn't attended to at all the uh, play previous tenant broke the stairs, um, so we need, just want to make sure that it um, it was very, very presentable when they came in. It like says you don't want them to see uh, things that just uh, aren't finished, you know. Um, at least make an effort on that. And then also just some uh, window trims, um, the uh, architrave around the windows got put on today as well. And, you know, listen, Karen did some painting of the steps um, out the front. And we got a painted box uh, out front painted as well, which I'll be showing you tomorrow when I paint the driveway. So, listen, there's a few things left to do. Got to hit the doors, got to do some more. But you know what? It's late, and I'm hungry as a bear. So, time to go get something to eat. Okay, so remember those uh, gouges in the doors caused by that giant Great Dane from the tenant before? Well, listen, what we did, I got my trusty sander here. Luckily, I had the tools around and just sanded the hell out of it. Got it down. Those gouges in there are about an eighth of an inch deep. So, really sanded it all the way down, got it smoothed back. We'll put some varnish on there. That'll come up all right. And I also sanded down the, uh, the baseboard as well um, because there's quite a few gouges in that. So that's pretty much all the big work done. So now I'm just gonna go around and do a lot of tidy ups, painting things, head up to the front of the house, uh, plant out the planter box. And so when somebody first comes into this house, before they even get into the house, it, it's gonna look magic from the driveway. That's really key.